This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at the miraculous birth of Jesus, a divine revelation of God's love. Let's do it. In God's word, there are moments that stand out, and they are beacons of hope and faith and divine intervention. In the birth of Jesus the Messiah, it's undoubtedly one of those extraordinary events. In fact, it's, it's the most stunning event besides the, the uh, resurrection of Jesus that we know of. Matthew paints a vivid picture of this, this momentous occasion. He reveals a story that resonates with the power of the Holy Spirit. And so the essence of faith is the profound love of God. Let us delve into this sacred passage and explore the timeless inspiration it offers to all who believe. So in Matthew 1.18, we read, now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place this week, just kind of matter of fact, when his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph before they came together, before they had sexual intercourse, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. So from the beginning, we declare the nature of this wonderful child, and it is a child born from the Holy Spirit. So the divine promise is this. These words open a door to the extraordinary. Mary's a young woman betrothed to Joseph who found himself in a situation that defied human explanation. She was with child, though not any earthly means, uh, but not through any earthly means, but through the miraculous intervention of the Holy Spirit. This event serves as a profound reminder that God's ways are higher than our ways, and his plans are far beyond our ability to comprehend. So we look at the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the divine force, an ever-present source of guidance, comfort, and transformation. In the story of Jesus' birth, we see the Holy Spirit's transformative power at its zenith, Mary a humble and faithful servant became the vessel through which the savior of the world entered humanity. This event underscores the transformative power of the Holy Spirit in our lives, reminding us that through faith, the impossible actually becomes the possible. So Mary's faith, let's look at that. Mary's response to the angel's message in Luke 138 encapsulates what we should know is unwavering faith. She said, behold, I am the servant of the master. Let it be to me according to your word. Her trust in God's plan, just beside the, the societal norms and the potential consequences, she was aware of that, is a shining example of faith. Mary's willingness to embrace the divine plan serves as an inspiration for us all it proves that when we surrender to God's will, we open ourselves to his miraculous workings. So this is a testament to God's love. At the core of Jesus' birth lies an overwhelming testament for God's love to humanity. God, in his infinite mercy, chose to send his son into the world to save us from our sins. And the birth of Jesus is a manifestation of God's love, his grace, his mercy, and his desire for reconcil reconciliation with his creation. So Mary uh, and her birth through the Holy Spirit of Jesus uh, gives us an example of how to, how to uh, look at uh, what God does as a beacon of hope and inspiration. It's illuminating our journey with the knowledge of God's love and grace are ever present, serving and guiding us through the darkest of nights into the glorious dawn of his eternal light. And that's some mighty good news, brothers and sisters. 